Hello again guys, it's Keith with Bulletproof RC and I'm back with you again to share an update. I have a new vehicle. UPS just dropped off the Losi Baja Ray. Been waiting on this vehicle for some time and I uh, had it pre-ordered with A-Main Hobbies and apparently uh, A-Main Hobbies did not have enough orders in place to fulfill mine so I canceled the order and found this um, vehicle at another hobby shop and uh, immediately ordered it had it sent to me and uh, so I'm a little behind as far as receiving this uh, in comparison to some of the others out there but anyway finally got it and I wanted to go over it quickly uh, pulled out of the box very impressed so far the um, comparisons between this and the Yeti score trophy truck I'm going to do uh, quite extensive comparisons and do a shootout between the two. Uh, took this thing for a quick spin on 2S and um, maybe I'm a little spoiled because my uh, my Yeti actually has 3S in it and I'm geared at 24 tooth on the pinion and 56 on the spur but my uh, currently my Yeti score will uh, smoke this thing so I'm definitely going to be going with 3S uh, in this vehicle. I believe that uh, given my experience with the uh, Losi SCBE and the same motor, uh, I'm going to gear it down a little bit. Um, Losi does include a smaller tooth pinion uh, to install, so I imagine that is for using 3S in this vehicle. So I will be taking this thing apart here in just a few minutes, uh, putting a, a smaller tooth pinion in there, and also I'm going to be installing a Savox 1258 servo, which is uh, it's just a proven servo for me. I've got it in several of my vehicles, and um, you know, in anything that's light like this, and uh, you want something that's got precision in the steering, and you want it to be quick and nimble, and this is a perfect servo for that. And of course, uh, tighten up the front end a little bit. I decided to go with a TLR uh, servo horn. This is actually for the 22 that TLR makes, but uh, of course, you got the 25 tooth spline, so it'll made up good. And then, of course, you know, I mentioned before, I've, I've got this motor that's in this truck already in the SCBE. And I did notice that the temperatures rose on the motor quite a bit. So, um, got a Yay Racing uh, Tornado cooling fan. And there's your part number if you need it. And I highly recommend these to drop temperatures. And of course, the notorious EC3 connector that everyone is worrying themselves sick over with this vehicle. Um, just go on eBay, guys. They have a simple fix. It's a, it's a shorty converter, and it'll fit up in there, and it's basically just like uh, having a Dean's connector already on the truck. So um, folks have been worrying. That's one of, the, one of the biggest points that people have been making about this truck. I hate the connector, and it's built into the chassis. And uh, immediately when I saw that, I ordered one of these, and done deal, you know. It's crazy what people get in a frantic over. I'll show you the batteries I'm using. I just uh, ran the 7.4 volt HRB 6000 milliamp. I believe this is a, um, I think it's a 35C. It's not marked, is it? But anyway, this is a great battery. I'm running this in several of my vehicles and um, ignore the shiny shrink wrap. I've just recently re shrink uh, wrapped it because I have ran this thing to death. No swelling whatsoever. It's a great battery. I think it's around between $28 and $32 on eBay and ships from America. Uh, like the HRB battery so much, I've ordered a few of them. And I've got this 3S 5200 milliamp. Um, and I can't remember the, the uh, oh, there it is right there. It's a 30C uh, discharge rate. Great batteries, guys. They don't swell. I, I've been through uh, Reedy packs and Thunder Power packs, and um, you know, I, I they all 
start swelling after a while. Even when you balance charge every time and take care of your batteries, every one of these fancy batteries have let me down. So anyway, when I got a couple of these 7.4 volt HRBs and they've held up for me, uh, running them in my Savage, uh, just ever since that's what I buy. And I have yet to have one of these packs fail me. So um, I know there's a lot of fanboys out there from name brands, but you don't have to buy Max Amps, guys. <laughs> there are alternatives out there that hold up and run, run great. And you can save your money for more vehicles. You don't have to have a set of batteries in one RC. You can have several vehicles and, you know, avoid spending extra for something that you don't have to. Anyway, my opinions. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of this and the Yeti score. Okay, guys, here they are side-by-side. -side. Uh, now, uh, I've got a heavily upgraded Yeti score. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you're aware of that. I'm not comparing you know uh, an RTR Yeti score and I'm comparing a kit that has been heavily modified so um, you know comparisons may vary one of the first things I noticed that the Baja Ray has a lower profile overall um, and a little bit higher ground clearance um, I've got them kind of at the same amount of squat as you can see my Yeti squats about that much and this is still out of the box settings but it's, it's about the same amount of squat, but I don't know if it's coming across in the camera, but you got a little bit more ground clearance under the Baja Ray, but yet the overall exterior looks like it's sitting lower, low, more low profile. The Baja Ray at full suspension length has a little more ground clearance than what the Yeti is capable of. However, the Yeti could be you can move the shock positions inward and gain a little bit more uh, ground clearance. And you can't do that on the Baja Ray. There's no alternative shock mounting positions. I didn't see if there was any on the top. I'll have to investigate that. Anyway, lengthwise, they're very comparable. Um, I did see on the forums that the wheelbase of the Baja Ray is a little bit longer. But the overall front end to rear end body it, um, links are really, really similar. There's above back view. <laughs> and then uh, getting down here low, there you go from the, from the ground looking at it. Anyway, that's visually... They're very comparable. You could definitely see these two guys racing it out on a racetrack. And uh, hopefully that'll happen soon. <laughs> Hoping some racetracks will start implementing this class. But anyway, that's the um, initial thoughts and comparisons. And um, that'll do it for this video, guys. But like I said, I'm going to get to wrenching, install my servo, my lower tooth pinion gear, remove the battery um, spacer so I can run a 3S in this low C truck. And um, after doing that, I'll have future videos and let you know what I think. If the shoe fits, guys, like and subscribe, and have a great day.